I would like to introduce to you the president of St. Peter's College. He stood for a bow a little earlier in the morning, and he has recently celebrated his first anniversary as lay president of St. Peter's College, which I might add has received the most applications in the 136 year history of the college and uh, currently has the highest full-time student enrollment. He's been a leading force in the efforts of St. Peter's College to go green. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our 22nd president, our leader, Dr. Eugene Kornakia. Thank you, Pat. Let me begin by thanking and acknowledging um, some people. First, Byron Pitts, Kathy Fitzgerald, Brett Hammond, Ali Velshi, Rob Santos, J.B. Wilson, the Business Symposium Committee, and the entire Board of Regents for putting together another tremendous symposium. Thank you all. And of course, Pat Sheehan for doing a tremendous job as moderator once again. Thank you. Today's many sponsors, particularly our presenting sponsor, Fidelity Investments, and our marketing sponsor, Patton Boggs, we highly value our partnership with you. Thank you. Today's theme is one that resonates among all sectors, including higher education. Last year presented a number of challenges for the college, not dissimilar to those experienced by our friends at other colleges and universities. However, St. Peter's always puts students first and is dedicated to helping them attain their goals. That's why we implemented initiatives to ensure more funds were available for students who found themselves in greater need than ever before, many of whom were in danger of suspending their education. This was actually the subject of a CBS Evening News report on St. Peter's in February, covered by none other than one of our speakers, Byron Pitts. During these tough times, education and innovation are more important than ever. We are proud at St. Peter's to be in the forefront of making these areas as strong as possible for our nation and our recovery. We are dedicated to innovative curriculum and academic excellence as we believe that these are key feeders towards restoring confidence and working toward real recovery. Proof of this innovation can be found in the creation of our new School of Education, in a new Master of Arts in Education with a concentration in school counseling, in a new MBA in Healthcare Administration, and in our major in Biology with a concentration in Environmental Science. And one other thing I want to mention, Beginning January 1st, 100% of the electricity that St. Peter's College uses will be generated by wind power. We're very proud of our contribution to sustainability. In addition, despite this unsettled economy, donors, including many of you, found St. Peter's College to be a sound investment opportunity. Giving in fiscal year 2009 increased 22% and the college is making terrific progress in our capital campaign, the center of which is the construction of a new 100,000 square foot student center. There is no better way to demonstrate the work that we do each day at the college than to introduce to you some of our students, many of whom are with us today. It is through the support of our student sponsors that we are able to provide seats for them at the symposium, as well as provide scholarship opportunities to them. At this point in the program, we have only time for four introductions, but I hope many of them will introduce themselves to you over lunch. First, Maria Anna de la Paz, class of 2010, known as Peaches. Please stand. <laughs> Peaches is originally from Manila, the Philippines. She is majoring in history, and minoring in English and anthropology. She spent six months at the University of Malta studying Maltese culture and history and learning Maltese and Italian. And she spent last summer as an intern at the Washington Center in DC where she was given the opportunity to hone her leadership skills. 
Peaches is a member of too many clubs and organizations to list, but they include the Asian American Student Union, Campus Ministry, and the McMullen Chorale. After graduating, she plans on spending time in the Jesuit Volunteer Corps and attending graduate school to pursue museum studies or international relations. Thank you, Peaches. Ashish Shretha, class of 2010, please stand. Ashish is from Nepal and is double majoring in accounting and economics. He has been named a member of our most noble order of the peacock. It's our highest academic honor. Has been on the dean's list consistently and is a presidential scholar, receiving a full academic scholarship. Ashish has also been a staff intern with PSE&G since May 2008. After sitting for his CPA exam immediately following graduation, he plans to pursue a career in one of the big four uh, accounting firms. And remember, connect with KPMG before the day is over. Thank you. <laughs> Next is Kelly Rose Lynch, also class of 2010. Please stand. There she is. Kelly Rose is originally from Jersey City. She's double majoring in business management and art history. Kelly Rose spent last summer as an intern at the Jersey City Museum. Her awards include the Ignatian Scholarship, the Tony Anturco Prize for Excellence in Business Studies, Kappa Pi, the Fine Arts Honor Society, and the Dean's List. She is also affiliated with too many organizations to list, but they include the Irish American Club. I bet that's a surprise and the Italian Club. Upon completing her graduate degree, hopefully here at St. Peter's, Kelly Rose plans to open her own art gallery. Thank you. <laughs> and last but definitely not least, Analia Stanomarova, please stand. <laughs> Analia is from Bulgaria, like a growing number of our St. Peter's students. She is majoring in accounting and minoring in economics. She has received too many awards to list, but some include the KPMG Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement in Accounting, being inducted into the Most Noble Order of the Peacock, being named to the Dean's List every year since fall 2006. She is a member of the Student Alumni Association and is Vice President of the Accounting Society. Analia has been an intern at Marsh and McClellan Companies in Hoboken since April of 2008. After sitting for her CPA exam immediately following graduation, she plans to pursue a career as an auditor. Thank you. And thank you all once again for being here today and for all that you do for St. Peter's College, our students, and the greater community. Thanks.